move across the border came, it was almost predictable. Arvin troops aboard armored personnel carriers. It was estimated that two brigades crossed into Laos by road. Bulldozers manned by South Vietnamese soldiers cleared the way for the APCs, going beyond the last American checkpoint and pushing into Laos. One Arvin military policeman put up a new sign right at the border. Like the American sign put up several days ago, 150 meters back from the border, this one again warned that American personnel were not allowed beyond this point. Helicopter gunships flew protective cover over the convoy as it penetrated into Laos. Convoys moved along the road, leading to the border in an almost continuous stream. Newsmen waiting at Quang Tri were herded aboard specially provided helicopters. They were told they may be going on a combat assault, where or with whom was not stipulated. Where the newsmen landed was at Quezon. It was an incredible scene. More than 100 helicopters were on the ground and more flying in all the time. They all came in empty and took off empty. It was obviously the staging area for the helicopter assault, but there were no combat troops visible to board them. When the choppers took off, they headed west toward Laos, apparently to a secret rendezvous with Arvin troops. All helicopter pilots were under strict orders not to talk to newsmen. One helicopter commander pushed this correspondent aside when he attempted to talk to one of his pilots, but not before the pilot admitted he had just come back from as far west as he cared to go. There were reports that at least one full Arvin division was assaulted by helicopter into Laos over a six-hour period. The number of helicopters landing at Quezon would tend to bear this out. Jim Bennett, NBC News at Quezon.